Hi. I am working on some YouTube settings at the moment. And uh, yeah, that's why I was behind a little bit. I uh, thought I would do a makeup tutorial today. I haven't done a makeup tutorial in a while. And uh, yeah, I had a minute. So why not, right? Move my light over in my mirror just a little bit. I'm just going to type in here to make sure that the stream is working. If you are watching and the stream is working, give me something in a uh, just a comment. How about that? I've not done too many live streams on YouTube, so uh, yeah, I'm still learning. So anyway, I am currently... I was trying to decide what I wanted to do today as far as a stream goes. Um, sorry, I was getting a text. Uh, I wanted to, I was trying to figure out what I wanted to do as far as a stream goes today, uh, makeup tutorial wise. And my go-to is sort of the Joker, uh, big fan of the Joker. So anyway, I'm gonna do the Joker today. I don't know if I can, Let's see if I can add an image. I'm going to add an image to show you which Joker which Joker we're going to do today. I like all the Jokers. Except maybe Jared Leto. So let's uh One moment. Put this fella over in the corner. Gosh, I'm still working. The things I should have done before I started streaming, am I right? gonna pop up right there it's gonna pop up right there so we're gonna do our best to pull that off today I should either talk or get with it right So uh, let's just get started. Hope uh, hope you guys enjoy, and I hope more people join us. So we'll see what happens. All right, let's see. I'm going to need that picture. Where's that picture that I need?
Hello, Ryan. How are you? Thanks for hanging out. Hey, how's it going? I can't pronounce your name. Uh, I can only wish that I could speak every language on the planet, but alas, I cannot. It is a goal of mine to do so. I should pick one and start, I suppose. <laughs> but thank you for joining. Oh, Doozy. Hello, Doozy. Thank you for hanging out and watching me act goofy and, and uh, get in the Halloween mood, you know? <laughs> I was trying to decide what I wanted to be. My kids have really been um, harping on me about what they wanted to be for Halloween and whatnot. Typically, they go all big for Halloween and big costumes and things like that. It was really cool. Uh, I think two years ago, one of my sons was... Uh, um, Oh gosh, the kid from It, the little kid, um, Bill's brother, Georgie. Sorry, I almost forgot. I almost forgot Georgie's name. How could I do that? I almost forgot Georgie's name. Anyway, he had a he went all out and I mean he got everything for that. The galoshes and the raincoat and and really everything and uh, really went all out. And he had a, a fake arm that we created for him. And it had like the blood coming off the end where it had been severed and it was hanging. And uh, he walked around, he walked around trick or treating and he never said trick or treat. He just held up his pumpkin head with the bleeding arm <laughs> to get candy for people. I am in the United States. I am in the United States. How about yourself? I'm an East Coast guy. Uh, West Coast, I've, I've never made it out to the West Coast before. I've always wanted to. Uh, being an actor and things like that, I uh, one would think that uh, I would have been out there by now. But I haven't. I do have, uh, oh, India. What part of India? I, uh, I, I do have a, a, a pretty cool story that I can share about, uh, about that. I, I had the fortune to be in a lifetime television movie, Rajasthan. Awesome. Well, welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> Um, so I had the fortune of being involved in a uh, Lifetime movie, and Lifetime is a, a, a channel that, you know, America has. It's a lot of uh, uh, awesome. They have a lot of, they make a lot of movies, they say Lifetime movies for women. So they have a lot of movies that they make for television, and... I had the uh, the fortune of being cast in one of those movies a few years ago, and uh, I had a speaking role. It was it was pretty cool, but it was a, a Halloween sort of. It came out at Halloween. The movie when it finally premiered came out around Halloween, and um, it was called Wicked. Wicked Moms Club. <laughs> and I... I actually happened to come aboard... Creole. That would be a great language to learn. Ryan, that would be a great... I would love to learn Creole. I have a story about... Um... I have a story about uh, Louisiana. I have I have several stories, <laughs> actually about uh, New Orleans and things like that. 
But I'll tell you, I had uh, the the uh, the Lifetime movie that I did. Back to that. I actually replaced another actor. There was an actor that was involved that, uh, right? Who doesn't want to see the Joker's makeup? There, there was a, an actor that was already involved in the movie that had already been cast. They already shot some scenes with this fella. And he ended up quitting. <laughs> he quit the movie before it was finished to take a different role on something else. Which, I mean, I guess that's a good problem to have. You know? And, uh... The, the audition notice came to me on a Friday night around 10.30 at night. Actually, it was 8.30 at night. It was 8.30 at night. The audition comes in, and uh, I jumped on it. So, you know, I memorized the lines. It had to be in by 8 o'clock the next night, uh, which was a Saturday, of course. Uh, and I, I, uh, I jumped on it. So, memorized the line, shot the audition, had it in by 11.30 that night. And, um, had it in by 11.30 that night. By 5.30 the next morning, I had heard from the casting director. And the casting director had said that the, the director of the, of the film, movie, really liked me. Liked what I did. And it also helped that where I live, the, the film was only being made th like two and a half to three hours from where I lived. So I told them, you know, if you need me tonight, I'll be there. So by 11.30 that afternoon, that Saturday, I'd been cast. And the casting director called me from L.A. and said, you're in. You got it. You got it. I need you. Yeah, I know. Right now, uh, West Coast is a little bit, a uh, little, little hard. They're, they're going through some... Uh, they're going through hard times with the fires and everything right now. But I, I uh, had been... I had been... Uh, once I got cast, we had to do all the paperwork and things like that. And they sent me the script. And I, you know, the guest director said, I need you to be in this place by 8 o'clock tonight. So I was like, whoa. So... Finished up the paperwork by 5.30 that evening. Uh, and I hit the road and drove for three hours. Yo, doozy. I drove for three hours, got there, uh, you know, to my hotel, went over my lines and everything really worked that out found out where I was going to be the next day because I was going to be shooting on Sunday and uh, the uh, I had to be there the next morning got on set the next morning and these folks had already been shooting this movie for 15 days they'd already been they'd already been working on this movie for 15 days so they'd all been together um, all these wicked moms <laughs> and so I sort of was just thrust in the middle and none of them really knew me or knew who I was. And so I just showed up and it was actually the climax of the movie was the first scene that I was to shoot. I had a big fight scene with one of the moms. I was the, I was one of the husbands of one of the moms, but I was also a cop in the, I always get cast as cops for some reason. I, uh, had a big scene, get punched by one of the moms, and we had to work all this out on my very first day. So, um, is Rennie? 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 Sorry, I was pronouncing it Ryan. Rennie. Rennie? Renee? Renee. Renee. Did I get it right? I'm sorry if I said it wrong. No, I, no offense at all. I just didn't know how to pronounce it. Renee. The name of the film is called Wicked Mom's Club. 
you can look that up. You can look up Wicked Moms Club. Uh, look that up. It's 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 not the greatest movie by any means, uh, but it was fun. It was fun to shoot, and I got to work two days on it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. It was pretty neat. So, anyway, the story about the West Coast. So I didn't hear anything, you know, movies take, you'll shoot a movie, and then it'll take a while before it comes out, before it premieres, and usually actors don't know a whole lot about the movie um, leading up to the premiere date, and you, sometimes you just have to see that it's going to be coming on um, through, like, TV schedules and things like that. Or if you're if you're paying attention and you're keeping up with things, you uh, you go check it out. You know, you you keep tabs, and um, that was a pretty big deal. I had a speaking role and everything, and all this, so that was pretty cool to me. And um, finally came out. And it was the week of Halloween, the year that it came out. How's my white look? How about uh, last name? Carnivora? Carnivora? Did I pronounce that right? So sorry. You know, you never know how dingy your teeth are until you put white makeup on your face. <laughs> so, um, when the movie started to come out, it was funny because all the, uh, all the people who were the actors in the movie started to like touch base on Instagram and things like that with one another. And... Uh, yeah, started to touch base, and so one of the ladies, I guess it was uh, one of one of the ladies, uh, one of the co-stars, asked me if I was going to come to the party that was being held by the director out in L.A. And I hadn't heard word of this yet. Uh, <laughs> I was like, "Well, I haven't been invited," and um, then they told me, "Oh, we'll send you the address and all this," and. Uh, they never sent me the dress, and I never got the invite, but they did have the party. It was like a rap party, premiere party situation. And uh, so I was going to crash. If I'd found out the address, I was just going to just gonna go crash it, you know? And I had a friend that actually was in a movie that way. He was in a movie with Jason Statham, and he had a speaking role in that movie. Homefront, I believe is what it's called. And that's what he did. He found out where they were having their premiere party and he went to California to crash it. So, anyway, I wasn't so lucky. So, that is my story of, uh, yeah, of my California experience that almost was but never was. <laughs> okay, I got to take a look at my picture here. Uh, let me see. All right, what do I want to do next here? There's some gray in that picture, so I'm gonna do a little, uh, let's do a little black. Let's put a little black in there, how about that? Renee, that's a good question. Um, so a lot of times, take Kiss for instance, the, the rock band Kiss, they will do an entire white. Um, I use I use Muron, the makeup that, whoop, you can't see it's out of, out of focus, but it's, uh, you can see right there, Miron. It's the name of the makeup that I use. Um, sometimes people use paint, like with pro wrestling, they use paint instead of makeup uh, just so it doesn't smear it off and that way it'll it'll actually peel off it'll dry and peel off but you paint the whole face kiss will they'll take q-tips 
they paint their entire face white and then they go in with the q-tip and they will cut out the areas that they want to color, go back and color in with the, the different colors that they have uh, but you do want to have a complete base foundation you just want to cover everything uh, you know just to have a good palette to work from Miron is, is a great uh, absolutely we should make a movie <laughs> we should make a movie could, and we could do we could make it in Creole everybody has to speak Creole That sounds like a lifetime movie right there. A movie would be awesome. Yeah, and doozy. We have just written our movie. We've written the perfect movie. You got to come up with a good theme. What what could be a good plot? Um, the last of her kind. That's awesome. Okay, we got to come up with a plot. What would be a good plot? We can write. We can do a pitch right now on what this movie could be about. It has to have cops, Creole, and makeup. <laughs> Team India and Creole. That's perfect. I'm in. Hey, let me just stop and say I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Uh, just doing an improv, impromptu live stream. I really want to thank you for for jumping in and hanging out. Um, I hope I entertain you a little bit. I know that we're uh, we're having a good time. Got to make one quick phone call. Pardon me one second. I don't mean to be rude. We'll come right back to our, our plot for our movie. You okay? <laughs> okay, cool. I'll just check on you. Terrific. Cool. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. All right, sorry. I'm back. Have you written that uh, plot yet? We need a plot. We've got elements, right?
Where's it going to be set? I'm working. I'm working. Some dark eyes. Okay. That's good. Where could it be set? Where, where could we set this? Is it going to be in India? Have I asked for likes yet? See, once again, I don't do, uh, like I said, I don't do a lot of all the live streams and everything. But, uh, Set in India. Gotcha. Okay, so we've got elements, we've got the cast, we've got location. We're on our way. I don't ask, um, like I said, I don't do too many streams or anything, and so I don't ever ask for likes. I don't know, I don't know what that is, but you know, maybe I'll maybe I'll do this more regularly. Um, so if you don't mind giving me a couple of likes, I really appreciate it. Like I said, I have no idea what that is or what that does, but let me give you a little more light over here, though. I. Uh There should be more light. All right. There. A little bit better. All right, where should we make, move to next? Let's see here. All right, let's do that blue. Let's get into that blue. By the way, did you get to uh, did, you get to see, did you get to see Joker that came out last year? It was this time last year that it came out? I'd already I was so uh, couldn't believe it's been a year already. Um, thank you, Doozy. I really appreciate that. I as well. I I love. Um, I love to watch people doing what they know how to do. I don't think I'm a master. I don't claim to be a master at makeup, but I certainly have uh, I've done enough theater and things like that to kind of know what's going on. So I um, haven't been able to really get into that in the last few years, uh, especially this year with everything that's gone on. Uh, but hopefully we will uh, we can revive live theater again
at some point. Excuse me. I had a little more light in here and the sun is setting uh, setting fast on me. <laughs> that is the plot. That's actually not a bad plot. <laughs> Renee gets tired of being called Ryan, uh, or other crazy pronunciations of the name, goes mad, goes all jokery. <laughs> it's the new birds of prey. You've just you've created the new birds of prey. It's amazing. Exactly. <laughs> I, I, I don't know about you, but... Uh... <laughs> That's true. You know, it's really funny. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of cops or anything like that. I'm not like super cop guy, but anything I've ever been in, I always have been cast as like cops. People always go, Hey, you're going to be a cop. And I get cast as cops. It's pretty funny. I've done a lot of these, uh, crime reenactment shows and things. And, uh, yeah, always end up being a cop. I've, I've worn so many uniforms, but <laughs> he uh, certainly uh, lends himself to that in the movies and the comic books, that's for sure. You know, it's funny. Um, I've always been... I've always been prone to Batman, but relate more to Joker. Me, my, I, I loved it. I really did. And like I said, I'm an, I'm an old school... Um, I'm an old school Batman comics guy and the argument I've always had with the movies except for the one where Jack Nicholson played with Tim Burton in 1989 was that the Joker doesn't wear makeup. The Joker's skin is is dyed that color um, by way of the chemicals. But I tell you, I, I, uh, I gave him a pass with this one because the movie was really so great. It was, it was truly great. Um... I only watched it once since then. I can't believe it. I only watched it once in one in 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 the year. So I need to go back and and check it out again. I really do. All right, let's see here.
But have you seen the movie uh, The King of Comedy that the Joker was heavily influenced uh, by? That's a great movie. Absolutely. I agree with that. You feel like the movie pushed people to emphasize, empathize with the mentally ill and still see a therapist and that touch you. I couldn't agree more. Uh, that that was, I think it really showed you, again, you, you it's almost like you, you cheered for the Joker in that movie. And, of course, I think a lot of people argue the point, you don't want to cheer for the bad guy. Well, why is he a bad guy? We've never really looked at that. Why is he a bad guy, right? And I think it really touched on the why of things and what sometimes can send people into that sort of rage and madness. And I think that movie captured it quite well. So, good call. Okay. Move on to some red. I'm going to come back with... Uh, after we sort of establish things, I'm going to come back and do... Uh, a few crazy things too. So let's get in with the red. No, he didn't want to go. Wasn't feeling well. Okay. I'm doing a live video right now. Can I talk to you in a minute? I'll call it in in just a few. I'll go get it in a few. Yep. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry about that. Phone call. That looks right. And the mouth is always a little bit, uh, a little bit difficult. Actually, I should do the nose first. Let's do the nose first. I have a rather large nose, <laughs> so it always lends itself to stuff like this, to the makeup part of things. I was actually talking today about getting a nose job. Kind of get my nose uh, a little bit squared up. I Ubered once upon a time uh, in between gigs, right? And uh, on Halloween night, I went out as the Joker. I dressed up as the Joker. So I picked up people <laughs> Ubering as the Joker. That was fun. And I had to yell at a guy. Guy was trying to destroy my car, so uh, I had to yell at him. Yell at him as the Joker. Okay, and here's a tip, actually. Clowns, and this was, uh, I, I did like this in the movie. 
clowns don't have top lips, right? Well, actually, I take that back. The movie strayed from this. The idea of of clowns are that they um, they don't have top lips. You actually leave everything white and you paint around everything, so that stays that top lip stays white. They don't really stick to that in this movie, and that's okay. You can do whatever you want, right? It's their movie. I actually did study clowning uh, early in my life <laughs> when I was a younger lad. So that's one of the things I retained from learning those things. They're fleeky? They're fleeky. I'm going to do some stuff in a minute. <laughs> Maybe she did. I'm about to get the lips on like a, a girl from the Bronx did it for me. I'm not going to uh, thank you very much. I'm actually letting my hair grow back out. I've I've had that that uh, you know uh, uh, what is that show that was on MTV uh, Jersey Shore. I've sort of had that haircut for the last five years, so it's all shaved up the sides and long on top and all this. And I got tired of it, and I'm like, I'm letting it grow back out. I'm gonna let it all grow long and. I want to get dreadlocks. Should I get dreadlocks? Maybe I should do a poll and do dreadlocks, right? See who wants the dreadlocks. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to cut my hair for a while. But thank you for saying that. Uh, I really appreciate that.
I feel like that needs to be wider at the bottom. Sticking this red up here. But no, I'm not going to do the red tonight. Uh, I, I'm, I mean, the green. I'm not going to do green hair tonight. I'm sorry. Uh, actually, I don't have any green spray on me or, or green color. But I, I would. I should. I just don't have it. Um, but I, I need to. Ramos family. Hello. Thanks for joining us. Doozy, make your face up. We should all be family in paint. Right now. Okay, so. Got that. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty jokery. You should do it. You should go live. You should go live on your Instagram. I mean, <laughs> Instagram or your YouTube and do it. That's what I did. I just pulled my makeup out and decided to do it today. So, I am going to fool with stuff now, right? Cause the Joker's not pretty. So now let's start uh, messing about with some things here. You know the Joker's not all doesn't have pretty lines. How about that? Take the end of my brush and just sort of tweak out the edges a little bit. Because we know that the Joker's character is out of the lines, not an in the line sort of painter, right? Give that turbulence about things.
The Joker works crazy hard, that's correct. I might have gone too low with the, uh, the chin. Now, um, we sort of got the rough joker going on. I'm going to take some black and we're going to get we're going to do some black stuff. Let's do some texturing. Sorry, I got quiet. I was focusing. Yes, connect.
I'm still here. I just got focused. I wasn't talking. <laughs> I'm glad to see you two talking. That's wonderful. I'm glad that, if anything, this brought some people to friendship. Rock and roll. Okay, I honestly think uh, your abuse of death. Gosh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, Wow, that's very cool, Doozy, that you create uh, posters in India. Very cool. All right, so I am going to take the hair down again. And I think that's going to do it. I think that is my take on the Joker tonight. Like I said, um, started with the... Uh, uh, I would love to see your Joker look. Uh, I'll try to. I'll go look up on uh, on Instagram. So anyway, that's that's pretty much joke. Pretty much my Joker for tonight. I need to get the light a little bit better here. Let me get a little closer. I know it's. Bring the light closer. Uh, so that's that's my take. Whoop! See, I got the light too high. I'm on I'm on uh, I'm on delay from what you're seeing so but uh that's what's happening so yeah that's that's my take on the Joker today I uh, want to thank you doozy and I want to thank you ra -ra -ra. Renee uh, I will learn Creole I will also get a map and find out where you are in India um, Anyway, that's my take with a little variation on the Joker. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hey, maybe I'll I'll show back up if you if you go if you go subscribe to me. Uh, <laughs> Joker lingerie. 
Uh, that's the crazy lingerie, right? Crazy lingerie. Um, so yeah, hopefully, uh, again, thanks, thanks for hanging out. I really, it really means a lot to me that the two of you were here the whole time watching. Uh, I had a good time. I hope you had a good time. Made some friends and uh, made friends with you. So subscribe if you don't, if you haven't already. Um, again, like the video if you liked it. If you didn't, don't worry about it. <laughs> And, and, you know, Harley Quinn's got the lingerie, right? She's got that Joker lingerie. She should have a line. They should have the Harley Quinn line of Joker lingerie out, right? So, anyway, I, I'll do green next time, right? Gonna put the hair back. So, all right. Well, thanks again, and uh, I hope to see you later. And that is, uh, that's it. Bye.